everybody! Tonight we are at King's Island's Winterfest in Cincinnati, Ohio, and I am so excited! It's so cute already! It is so cute! This is our first time being here this year. We actually have only been to Winterfest a few times in the past. It was gone for many, many years and they eventually brought it back and we've been so excited to give it a go. We've got lots of friends and lots of shows around here and I think we're gonna go try and get some of them on film. Yeah. Um, and we already ran into some friends of ours, Brian and Trisha. Um, shout out, Brian and Trisha Rock. Uh, so it's so great to see everybody. So let's get going. I don't know what we're gonna get into, but I have a feeling it's gonna have something to do with hot chocolate and cookies. International Drive or International Street, I don't know what it's called actually, to the International Stage to see Cool Yule, cool Yule Christmas, try to say that. Um, our very, very good friend and kind of family now, Bridget Lorenz, is in this show and we're super excited to watch her. She is amazing and I'm sure she's going to be the best on the stage, just like she always is because she's such a star. So we're super excited. And it is so cute here, all the lights and the little stores and people in the shops um, decorate cookies and there's hot chocolate. I think I'm gonna get some hot chocolate or coffee or something here in a minute because I am cold. Um, but we're on our way to the show. so many things to do. Um, we just walked by, there's this cool little post office uh, where kids can sort of, uh, probably adults too, can just go in there and they create little like um, letters, messages, write little messages for Santa Claus and you stick them in the post office. That looks so cute. And then I think they have a create your own cookie thing. I keep seeing people walk by with, um, almost looks like create your own sugar cookie. So I'm gonna go see if we can find that too. We were just talking to a wonderfully helpful cast member. Is that what they're called here, cast members? That's what we're calling them. <laughs> and she just gave us all this information and now I'm like, oh my gosh, wait, we have so much to do. Uh, she said there was tubing. <laughs> I love tubing. I've been tubing at Perfect North a few times and I loved it. I'm getting freezing. Tubing? It's so cold out here right now for me, a Floridian. I need some hot chocolate or coffee. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I'm also freezing. Um, she said up here in the front, there's some sort of refillable hot chocolate thing you can buy. Maybe we should go buy that. Should we, let's, do, let's do that first. <laughs> I'm gonna go check out this hot chocolate business that they're talking about because once again, I'm cold. It got a lot colder within the last like 
15 or 20 minutes, I feel like. And I'm used to being cold 175 in Florida. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go check it out. She said there's a, you can get a refillable cup, but I already bought like a refillable cup on my pass. So I'm not sure if that's included. In, I feel like it's not included in the hot chocolate and you buy the hot chocolate separately. Um, but we shall see, because we're coming up on it right now. So I got my um, refillable mug. It was $13.99. You do not get your annual pass discount on this. If you do get the $3.99, just regular cup hot chocolate, you do get your discount on that. Um, the first day you get free refills of hot chocolate every 15 minutes. Every day after today that you come back, you get a refills for $2 um, each. So, I mean, I think it's a pretty good deal. Um, I was really cold, so that's why I wanted it. Um, I took a drink, not a huge drink, a minute ago, and I like really hot stuff. This was literally the hottest thing I've ever put in my mouth, so if you drink this, like, you're gonna have to wait like a while to drink it. It like was on fire, so. But it's very good. It's not funny. She literally spit it out. Yeah. It was that hot. Oh, you okay? <laughs> You burn your mouth? Yes. Oh. No, I don't want to try it. I'm not taking I'm not taking a drink then. Main Street is so cute. Uh, International Street, I think. International Drive, International Street. I don't know. what. We live on basically on International Drive, so I keep getting it confused. But I think this is so cute. They literally change. This is like a little Christmas village. It transforms a Christmas sign into like a Christmas village. They even rename all the signs. Have you noticed? Yeah, Blitzen's Hot Beverage Bar. Yeah, this is Blitzen's Hot Beverage Bar. I saw Prancer's Pizza back there, which is basically La Rosa's Pizza. So like they change all the signs and not only not just the decorations and the lights and all the stuff on the windows, but they even change out the signs. That is so cute. Look, there's Candy Cane Cafe. If I remember correctly, that's where all the delicious sweet treats were the last time. I'm gonna just kind of walk in here real quick and take a quick scan to see if they have any special holiday items. Oh, yum. Oh, look at this Swiss roll. That looks so good. I love Swiss rolls. Mm. Oh, what is this? A croquembouche? I've never actually had a croquembouche before. 1999. So we have a Yule log, a Swiss roll, sort of Yule log treat for 20 bucks, or the croquembouche for 20 bucks. And I want both, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. Look at this gingerbread. Now that's a legit gingerbread cookie. And it's $7.99. It's humongous. The cafe we just stopped into, I was right, it had all the sweet treats. And they had that croquembouche, and I, I'm dying to try that. It was 20 bucks because it's huge. But she was really selling it. She really was. She needs a race. Yeah, she was selling it. <laughs> she, 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 said, was, she was really good at explaining it. She yeah. sounded like she was on the TV show. She should do that for a living. <laughs> I've never heard of a croquembouche like that. Uh, yeah. she, it, was, it was like the little cream puffs that you normally would get. And then it's like some sort of syrupy honey stuff or whatever, which yeah. actually connects them all. But it was lay, it was laid on top of, a, she said, an ice cream cone, probably like a sugar cone. And then inside that was some sort of like mousse caramel mousse or something. She said it more eloquently than us. Yeah, we, we, just like, we, we, don't we busted remember. it up. She was so good. And the two girls that heard yeah. him say croquembouche, they were like, they went and got her because yeah. they must know She's that like she loves it. And, and probably, she was like waiting for Steve to stop filming. Um, to like talk to him about it. They were probably surprised that somebody actually knew what a croquembouche was. Yeah. So I think it's funny, but we don't have time to get it right now because we have to do some stuff and we got to catch the parade, which is coming. <laughs> and we got some other friends we got to see. So I don't know, maybe we'll hit it on the way out. Or Sunday. Or maybe we'll wait until the next time we're here. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Enough talking on the camera. I'm going to film all this cute stuff right here. Check yeah. this out. There's decorations everywhere throughout the park that we've gone so far. It's really cute. There's like these Christmas trees, these little like toy soldiers. Um, yeah, it's super cute. We're headed over into the Toy Land, Soupy Land. The, um, one of the workers told us that there's some sort of like craft thing over here or something. So we're going to see if we can find it. Look at Snoopy's little dog house. It has even... Hello! 
It even has the lights on it, um, the bulb lights from the movie show, movie? Great Christmas Charlie Brown, what is it? No, that's a great pumpkin Charlie Brown. What's the Christmas one? Anyway, there it is, it's super cute. Okay, so even though I knew that this was extremely hot and I have been forewarned and I saw her burn herself on it, she gave it to me just now and I took a drink and for whatever reason I forgot everything that had <laughs> happened and I just burned the fire out of my mouth and had to spit it out. Look. Did you spit it out? Yes, I it's on. You? It's on the ground. And it's a big drink. He took a big drink. That's bigger than what I did. What was I doing? Apparently, I didn't learn. Didn't learn. We're not going to be able to taste our food for a week. No. So we both have burnt mouths now. Uh, and they do have rides open. Like we're in the kids section right now, and they definitely have some of the kids rides open. Um, I'm seeing a few different ones. There's like a little roller coaster right there, and that's open. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's always been there. The carousel's always been there. I mean, I'm pretty sure, but I don't know for sure, sure. Oh, look, at, they, uh, they've they got the games back. So they had the games during that, um, that the fall fest or the, um, during the haunt, during the daytime hours for Halloween, they had like a kids activity um, day, like in the daytime hours. Wow, I'm really stumbling over my words on this, but... Um, and they've brought them back for the Winterfest, so they have all the little games and stuff you could play. We found the Christmas crafts, Sally's Christmas crafts. This is what the, she was telling us about. I don't know what it is, so let's just walk in and see what it is. Um, it looks super cute in here. This is like normally a store. And it's super cute. What is this? You make ornaments or something. Is it free? Is it, how much is this? Is it, it's free? Oh my goodness, this is free. You can make little ornaments. I feel like some professionals have made these. Mine would not look like this. <laughs> As the professionals are telling us, no, no, we're not professionals. I'm like, uh-huh, you're right. It's so cute and it's free. Wow. Yeah, after, okay, we'll come back after the parade. It's too cute. Wow. How cool is that? You get to do I wanna make one. free. You can make free ornaments. Free. It's not often that you hear the word free in any theme park. Actually, anything at all nowadays. Anywhere. You don't hear that very often. There's, it looks up here, uh, like during the Fall Fest, there was a um, corn maze kind of dealio over here. And now I'm seeing a bunch of Christmas trees right in front of us where that was. I'm wondering if that's like a little Christmas tree walk. Let's find out. Look, they got some of the Peanuts gang over here. Okay. <laughs> I, hate, I, hate I don't know why this music is right here, but everybody's staring at us, everybody's staring. staring at There's like a hundred people <laughs> in line for Chick-fil-A right there. <laughs> And they're like, I don't know what's going on. That's what we're like too, by the way. I have no idea what's going on. Look, there's little craft booths in um, little, like little houses um, set up all around here. And they have local businesses selling their crafts in there. That is so cool. And that's a good Christmas gift. Like you could come here and support local businesses and get your, a lot of your Christmas shopping done. Now that is cool. Man, that's cool. Check that out. The beast. That's a cool one. Look at those bubbles in there. You see those like little like little ecosystem bubbles. See those people walking in there? I think I'm gonna check that out. I think it's something maybe you can rent or something if you want to get out of the cold. Um, it's all like around the Eiffel Tower. There's all these like little bubbles. So we got the lowdown on the igloos, is what they're called. They're little igloos. They're for rent. They're kind of like the cabanas at like Volcano Bay or anywhere like that. Colder. Yeah, so probably warm inside. they said there's a fireplace on the inside of those igloos. You rent it for the entire day. It's $269, but basically you get four of the refillable hot chocolate mugs. Uh, you, you don't get anybody waiting on you, but you get like a bunch of free stuff. You get uh, the, uh, <laughs> there's a fireplace. They watch all your stuff. You can leave it there. You get it all for all night. It sounds really awesome, 269 bucks, but you do have to book it kind of in advance. She said the um, 
She said the uh, one for New Year's Eve sold out in like 20 minutes. So I don't know. I think she said there's still a few available, like the 23rd or something. A couple of days, there's a couple still available. So that's kind of cool. 269, you get your own little private igloo to stay warm in the whole night if you want to go in and out and leave all your stuff there. So that's pretty cool. watching the parade we saw Bridget and of course she was amazing as well in her little Santa outfit right at the end Santa comes to town um, but all in the beginning it's just pretty much a party of all the characters and all the goings on of the whole winter fest throughout the day all the characters come together in a parade and it's just a big party and it's so cute the floats are really well done the costumes are really well done the makeup it's just super fun and everybody was over there watching it and they have really like upbeat good Christmas music like everybody knows and it was just it was really fun and they stopped periodically um, and let all the kids like join in yeah. like they did like jingle bells and they had little bells and all the kids like the, the parade stops and then you can do like they, it's an interactive they get the kids and stuff involved it's fun but look how cute Coney Mall is it's got all these like different colorful like lights all the way down it and I see some rides way down there operating um, what is that ride? Is that like the shake, rattle, and roll or something? So they do have some rides going. I think they also have like a big wooden roller coaster that's running right now too called Mystic Timbers. Hey, look at this. This is cute. Honestly, they've just done a really good job of decorating. I bet they have like a million lights here. Like it's insane. Like everywhere I look is just like thousands and thousands and thousands of lights. Hey, the bumper cars are running. You want to ride? No? <laughs> she said I'm not good at the bumper cars. I get stuck. Who's good at bumper cars? You. You just drive around and hit stuff. I feel like I get stuck. You just drive around and run into stuff. Hey, what are all those people going back there for? Do you, is, do you think that, that ride's open back there? What's this? Is this like a little gazebo? I, I thought maybe we... Are we allowed in there? But now that I'm looking at it, I don't think we're allowed in there. I saw some people in there just now, like, went in there and, like, kissed or whatever and did, like, a little photo, but I don't think we're supposed to be in there, so. We'll just have to admire it from afar. It's cute. Look at it. What's this car over here? It's talking. I think it has, like, a radio turned on or something. I knew she was either from Philadelphia or New York, up here. She's got that much of look. Thank you for that. The old time cars are running. We can ride it. There's not even a line. Well, okay, there's a little bit of a line. Look at this amazing little lane where secret little lane back here we're walking through. Look, I'm turning blue and there's a reason. There's like thousands of blue lights all around me. It's so cute. Look at all the trees and bushes all strewn with these blue lights and the little like white icicle yep. things that are supposed to be glistening maybe I feel like that's icicles <laughs> and there's like, cute music in here too and there's a carriage you can sit in for pictures it looks like and they have these like little heater things also that you can stand by and get warm if you're cold Look how cute that is. Wow, we just keep walking through the park. We, we've walked towards the back of the park where I really didn't think there was going to be anything because there's like most of the rides back here aren't running. Um, but look, it's literally lights everywhere. And, and all the food places back here are still open. I didn't think these food locations are going to be open, but I mean, it's still hopping back here. There's so many lights. What's that over there? Is that like a photo op? It looks super cute over there. We, we, we have, there's too much. There's too much to look at. There's too much. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to come back. 
Well, that was such a fun night. It always is at Kings Island. I, I feel like I like it more even now as I'm older than I did even when I was a kid. I feel like I didn't appreciate it enough. But now I do, and look how this little wonderland behind us. It so just cute. keeps going and going, and it's beautiful here. I feel like it's a lot better than it even used to be at when Winterfest first came about. So, but as things do, things improve, and it's definitely improved a lot. Kings Island has stepped up their game, don't you think? Yeah. Well, it was such a fun night, too. Yeah. Like, I had such a blast. I I can't believe how much stuff is here. <laughs> how many lights? I mean, we there's the festival with the lights at, at the zoo. I feel like that's like the big light show in this area, the Festival of Lights, and there's like bazillions of lights or something, but I feel like there's so many lights here. Um, and there's the um, the rides, the make your own cookies, the create your own ornaments, which was free. Uh, I mean, so many different things. And it's all included in the price of the annual pass. The haunt, the, mo the most amazing Halloween event in the country, keeps winning every year. The whole summer season, plus the water park that they have here. Now Winterfest. We didn't even see all this stuff at Winterfest. We're definitely going to come back. All that included in one annual pass fee, which is very, 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 very reasonable. And they have food pro programs and drink passes. I'm telling you what, this has got to be one of the best parks in the country. It was so much fun. I had a blast. I can't wait to come back. So thanks for joining us on this awesome episode at Winterfest. Uh, we will see you again next time. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Leave us some comments. Let us know what you think. We're going to be coming back here, so if there's anything you think we need to see, put it in the comments below. So until we see you next time. I'm Morgan. I'm Brooke.